Jackie Van Roller here from the Mind Body Beauty Institute. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about um, having better bowel movements. Now, bowel movements are super important because it's the way that we eliminate the food that we eat. Our body eliminates um, the things we don't need in our body anymore through four different ways. One is through bowel movements, one is through urine, through sweating, and then also through breathing. So bowel movements are about how you digest life. So emotionally, it's about getting rid of the things in your life that you no longer need. Um, when you have issues with constipation, it's usually because we're trying to control too much of what's going on in our lives. And when we have things like diarrhea or things like that, it can be because we're trying to get rid of things too fast or we're not processing them well. And so with this video, in addition to having better bowel movements physically, you might find that you digest and process life better and that you feel more calm and are able to make decisions easier as well. So we're gonna start with point 342, which is going to be about a fourth of the way down your forehead, right in the middle. And we're just going to activate that point for about 10 to 15 seconds. This is a point for the large intestine and it helps to get that large intestine moving and flowing. It lubricates your bowels. The large intestine is about processing the water in your gut. And so it helps to absorb the water that you can use again and then release the water and the fluid that you no longer need. Next, we're going to come down onto the nose a little bit below the eyes. And this is a spot for the diaphragm. Notice that as you're activating this point with your magic wand or your detector, that you might feel the urge to take a deep breath. So as you breathe, that actually stimulates the other organs within your abdominal cavity, and it also encourages the intestines to move, and that movement is called peristalsis. Next, we're going to come on to either side of the cheekbone. I'm going to work on the left-hand side, and this may be a mirror image, so left hand side in line with the flare of the nose directly underneath the eyes, the iris. Here we're working this point for the spleen. The spleen is the largest lymph node of your body and so much of your gut is um, cleaned and there's a sewage system called the lymphatic system and the spleen is the largest lymph node of the body. The spleen also controls the flow of energy throughout the gut. And as you go down just a little bit further in line with the bottom of the nose and directly over the smile line, you get the stomach. Stomach is super important in digestion because it works to break down proteins. And if your stomach is not acidic enough, you won't break down proteins and that'll affect the entire digestive process. Emotionally, both the spleen and the stomach are about um, processing the emotion of worry, helping you to eliminate worry so you feel more calm and grounded, and also to um, eliminate overthinking and, and having too much of those thoughts in your head. On the right hand side, we're going to go to the liver and gallbladder. So in line with the bottom of the nose, directly underneath the iris of the eye is the liver point. So the liver controls the flow of energy within your body and the liver and gallbladder together help to digest fats. Fats in your body store toxins, and so as we're getting good energy flow through the uh, liver and gallbladder, we're also releasing toxins in our body, including toxic thoughts, heavy metals that we may have in our body through injections, products that we use, things like that. And then finally, we're going to work the whole area around our mouth, which has to do with the digestive tract. We're going to start on the right-hand side of the chin. And this area right in here has to do with the um, appendix. And the appendix is this little sac that sits between the large intestine and the small intestine. And its job is to contain um, additional beneficial bacteria for your gut, so that if you get diarrhea or sickness, illness within your gut, it helps to recolonize it. So if you have lumps and bumps and breakouts in this area, it can show in um, deficiency with that organ or the appendix. A lot of people think this area has to do with um, hormonal imbalances, but it's more having to do with the gut. Then you're just gonna work up and around the mouth 
As we get into the smile line right in here, we have point 38 for the intestines. This point helps to lubricate the intestines, improve the movement of the intestines. And then we're going to move over to the upper lip. If you are pregnant, you want to avoid this upper lip area, so you can just scoot to the other side. But otherwise, this area right in here has to do with the um, adrenal glands for decreasing inflammation and stress hormones. And as we move a little bit further over, we're getting the points for the pancreas, which release digestive enzymes, control our blood sugar, and also help to decrease inflammation as well. Keep moving over. We're getting to the pancreas points on the other side of the upper lip. Again, improving those digestive enzymes, blood sugar regulation. Going to the adrenal glands for decreasing stress hormones, decreasing inflammation. So making sure you come within the smile line and working that specific spot for the large intestine and the immune system. Coming down beside the left side of the chin, we have a point for where the intestines turn and narrow. And this is literally a spot where crap can get stuck in your gut. Most of us have a lot more waste stuck within our guts than we are aware of. And if this area is lumpy and bumpy, it's just showing that you're not fully releasing that. This can also be lumpy and bumpy with things like diverticulitis, Crohn's disease, and other um, inflam inflammatory diseases of the colon and the gut. And then coming through the chin, this is going to have to do with the lower part of the colon and coming out onto the anus. This area you might see stuff going on if you have things like um, hemorrhoids or inflammation going on in that area. This is something you can always repeat, so going around the mouth twice if that feels good. Oftentimes I would encourage you to do this if you're having gut issues, either diarrhea, constipation, or other issues such as gas or bloating. I would highly recommend that you do this three to four times a day until things begin to regulate. You're probably going to see things actually change fairly quickly, but also notice how you are digesting the stress that is happening in your life as well. You may find that things start to become less stressful, more clear. You might notice that you're able to make decisions more quickly, and you're able to digest and process life more easily. You might even notice that you're able to let go of control. As always, with every routine, we just want to finish up by either doing circles around the ear. So coming down the front side of the ear, circling around. Or you can just go up and down this front side of the ear, whichever works best for you. I like doing little circles. This helps to um, improve lymphatic drainage through the face and the neck, giving you a brighter complexion. You might notice that you have the need to swallow when you're doing this. That's a good sign that you're getting lymph moving. And it just feels good. This helps to set that formula in. It helps it to last longer and work better, as well as keep your body into a state of balance. Alrighty, thank you for watching. If this is something that you can pass on to a friend, please be sure to do that. It's really important to be able to um, activate our own health at this time, anytime really, but right now especially, it's really important that you take care of your own health, that you find um, things that you can do to keep yourself healthy and happy, um, and I will see you soon in the next video.